Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I will tell you all about the new lead qualification experience that is a feature of 2024 Release Wave 2. I was actually able to get early access by installing 2024 Release Wave 2 on one of my sandboxes. So I'll be talking about the configuration options that we have and then also the experience for the sellers. Let's go ahead and dive right in. If you want to enable the new lead qualification experience, you have to make sure that you've actually enabled the 2024 release wave two in your instance first. And you can see that I've already done that. Let me open up this environment. And then over here, you can see that it shows 2024 release wave two has been turned on. So after you've done that, we're going to go to Dynamics 365 and you can see here I'm in app settings and then I went here to lead plus opportunity management. So what you'll notice here is, first of all, this is that new lead qualification experience that I can enable from here. But if you haven't enabled that yet, then you can see that the legacy experience is still available. Now let's go ahead and turn this on. And as soon as I do that, you can see that I have a lot more to choose from now, right? A lot more configuration options. So the first thing I can decide on is who should create records that will be related to a lead after it's qualified. Right. So do I want to create an account, a contact and or an opportunity? And do I want to do that automatically or do I want the seller to do that? Now, the other thing I want you to take note of is that if we actually set the opportunity to be created automatically, you'll notice that this section here will disappear right now. We only have the lead qualification details available here. So you, depending on what you want to do, you might want to keep that in mind as well. If I set everything to automatic, again, only the lead qualification details can be enabled or disabled from here. Now I'm going to show you both experiences in a second after I configure this, but I'm going to leave this. I'm going to set this to seller first. Now you also see here, it says you can modify an opportunity form by adding or removing fields in key details and description. So when you're reading this, you're probably going to think like, okay, what the heck is this? What does that have to do with anything? Well, I do want to note that there's actually a new opportunity form that will be used as part of this. So let me go ahead and pull that out because that's actually pretty important. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up my opportunity table here and make that powerapps.com. I'm going to go to forms and then you can see here, this is the form that I'm talking about the opportunity qualify lead form. And you're going to use that when you are making changes to an existing opportunity, right? When you are trying to create them during that qualification process. And also if you want to add additional opportunities, if you want to take advantage of that, you got to make sure that you add this form to the model driven app that you're using. So in most instances, that is probably going to be the sales hub. But if you have a custom uh, model driven app, you want to make sure that you add this new form there as well again, because otherwise that will not work correctly. So let's go ahead and save the settings for now. Um, again, the other thing that we can do here is allowing people to create five opportunities up to five opportunities at once when we're, when we're qualifying this lead, if you don't want people to do that, if you want them to stick to one, you can just uncheck that, but this is going to allow them to generate up to five opportunities simultaneously during that lead qualification. And then lastly, right? Do we want to have Copilot summarize the key information of that lead? And that will actually also be visible as a post 
on the lead record. And then because of the relationship between leads and opportunities, you will also see that post from the opportunity record as well. Now that we've configured this, now let's take a look and see what that experience is going to look like for a seller. So here I am inside of the sales hub and you can see here, I have this lead record, which is a completely fake lead record. Obviously that's why it's called Teresa testing, right? And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you now that experience, right? For the seller here. So I'm going to click here on qualify. And what you'll notice here is right. You can now see that we have the ability now to either create a new account, use an existing account, and then I can actually use the lookup to point to any account record, right? Or I can also say, you know what? I don't want an account to be created. So we can do that as well. Let's just use an existing account and let's just go with active transport. Then for the contact record, again, I can create a new one, use an existing or do not create a contact at all, right? Very pretty simple settings here. Now, obviously when we're, when we're creating this opportunity, when we're qualifying this lead into an opportunity, it will actually honor any of those column mappings that you have in that relationship from lead to opportunity, right? So keep that in mind as well. But now let me show you how I can actually edit this opportunity name, right? It's coming from the topic of the lead here. But if I want to edit that, if I click on that, that's now going to open that pop up with that new opportunity form that I just showed you. And again, if we don't have that form actually added to the app, what's going to happen then when we click save and close is that an opportunity will be created, but not linked to the account in our contact record. So make sure you're using this new form. So let's just rename this. I'm going to say trade show lead two. I'm going to click save and close. And again, it's not creating that opportunity yet now, right? We don't want that to happen until I hit qualify. If I want to add another opportunity, let's say for whatever reason, I want to add another one. So I'm going to say opportunity two, right? And I can here, I can put more details in here, obviously as well, right? I can put in a budget time frame, all that stuff. And then I can go and click save and close again. And now I can see two opportunities from here. So once I'm done, I can click on qualify and let me show you what is going to happen then. So you can see here the account that this has been linked to the contact that's been created, the opportunity, the second opportunity, and my lead qualification details, right? It's giving me all of the information here as well. I can now click finish or I can navigate to any of these records that were created or that already pre-existed. Now, let me go to that opportunity record real quick. And what I wanted to show you here is that auto post, right? Which is on the lead record. This is that post that was just generated by, by Copilot. So if I go back here to take a look at that lead record, you're going to be able to see that on here as well. Now let's go back and change the settings here. I'm going to go to app settings again, lead and opportunity. And now I'm going to set everything to be created automatically. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And let's navigate back to our lead screen, or I can even create a lead from here. Let's go ahead and create a lead directly from within here. And I'm going to use that same record. I'll say new lead to Teresa testing again, and I'm going to put a company name in and 
I'm going to go save and close. Let's go ahead and open my new lead. So now let's try that qualification process again. I'm going to click here on qualify. And as you can see, we still get that new form popping open, right? My qualified lead form. It says here account will automatically be created as per org settings. Same thing with the contact as well. And the same thing with the opportunity as well. I cannot generate additional opportunities from here. If I hit qualify from here, let's give it a second. It again shows me the records that were created and the lead qualification details as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.